Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to connect Stripe with QuickBooks in 2023. Integrating Stripe, a popular payment processing platform with QuickBooks, a leading accounting software, can streamline your financial management processes and provide a streamlined way to handle transactions. So in this tutorial, we'll take you through the step-by-step -step process of setting up this integration, ensuring that your sales expenses and financials records are accurately synchronized. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, we'll have to go and create a Stripe account. So if you don't have already a Stripe account, you'll have to simply visit the Stripe website and sign up for a new account. To do so, go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use Brave and of course, in your case, you can use any other browser this could possibly have. Once you open that browser, go to the URL section, simply type stripe.com and hit the enter button. From here, as you can see, you can simply just go to the top right corner to log into your account. As you can see, I have your dashboard because I already logged into my account. And if you don't have an account, you'll have to click on start now at the middle right here. Of course, if you don't know much about Stripe, you can simply scroll down uh, like in the home screen, read more information about it and be sure that you want to open a Stripe account. So familiarize yourself with the website. And once you're sure you want to open an account here, you can simply go uh, go up and open your account. For me, I'm just going to access my dashboard or log in into my account. And of course, once you do so, you'll have to, first thing that you'll have to do is simply activate your payments. To activate your payments, if you not having it activated, you'll find this option here. So simply click on activate payments. Click on it, and as you can see, you'll have to finish five steps. I've already uh, finished one, just secure your account. So what you'll have to do is simply, simply verify in your business. To do so, you'll have to verify the type or simply enter the business type, business details, full main details, and public details. Then after that, you'll have to add your bank, secure your account, which I already did, by, by securing it with a phone number or a key or even like Authenticator app. You can even add some extras or and finally you'll have to review and accept everything and finish of course of course some of you will say uh, can i like just don't do that it's too much work now if you just try to uh, connect like stripe with anything else and the connection they will ask you to do that so make sure to do it now while you created your account or while you logged in into your account because this will uh, prevent you from doing this later on so now what we'll have to do, of course, is simply set up your QuickBooks account. So if you're not using QuickBooks yet, you can simply go and create an account. So just access like uh, quickbooks.com, go to a new tab and type quickbooks.com. From there, again, if you have an account, make sure to go and log in at your account. And if you don't have an account, you'll have to go and click or stripes an account. And as you can see, welcome to Intuit uh, to check our product design specifically for your country. Please visit the global site. So you can visit the US site or global site. I'm just going to the global site here. So again, as I said, if you have an account, simply make sure to go and log in into your account, uh, online or accountant. And if you don't have an account, you'll have to go and start your free trial or simply go and buy one of their plans. You can simply go and find the price in here. And as you can see, post the video to see the features depending on whatever you want. As an example, let's just try here to log in into my, uh, my account as an example. And of course, I'm going to sign in with Google because this will prevent you from doing all the boring steps of creating or even logging in into my account. So once I am logged in into my account, uh, I don't know why they didn't log me in at the moment. They, there is an issue on our end. We're on it. So maybe they have an account at, or they have an issue at the moment, but it's not going to be a big deal. I'm just going to uh, go you through the steps and it's not going to be that hard. So of course, visit the global sites or let's see if like the US sites does not have this problem. Let's see. Let's check if they have the problem in the US site or not. If it's, uh, they don't have that problem, it will be great. Now nah, they have this issue, so it's not going to be a big deal. Of course, so simply you will have for you to go after setting up your account to install the Stripe integration. To do so, of course, you will have. So after a while, they let me actually to log in into my account. So that's going to be great. So as we said, now we'll have to go and install the Stripe integration. To do so, of course, we'll have to go and access the apps. We can go to this left panel, and as you can see, you'll find apps here. So click on apps or hover apps and go to find apps. Once you go from here, make sure to go and look for Stripe integration. Go here and simply type Stripe, and you will have to hit the enter button. 
As you do so, as you can see, uh, pay tracker. So Shopify, Amazon, WooCommerce, PayPal, Stripe, uh, Square, and etc. So we have two uh, apps that we can use. Both of them like uh, have Stripe. So you can go and check like the one that has most users. So as you can see, this one has a lot of ratings and uh, a lot of people rating it with a good rating. Of course, it's the same rating, but this has one has more. You can go and check whatever you want. Of course, you can check them one by one and see the features that comes with this example. And for me, I'm just going to click on Get App Now. And of course, once I get the app, once it's installed into my QuickBooks, you will have to now go and connect to your Stripe account. So as you can see, you will have to authorize first of all on QuickBooks. So make sure to authorize everything and check if everything is working correctly. And here, as you can see, we'll have to go and connect. So let's just go and click on connect here. We'll have to wait, of course, a bit. And the meanwhile, as we said, or once we finish, we'll have to connect our Stripe accounts. So here I'm just going to do other, uh, I'm just going to like test here, I don't know, other, test, next step, next step, whatever, or I have to fill those, so this, this, and, or I'm just going with like test, gmail.com, and, or, if I click on this, yeah, it's going to be great. Next step. So here, what we'll have to do, of course, simply use Stripe or select Stripe from here and print the transaction or daily summary, depending on whatever you want. I'm just going to click on pay. And as you can see from here, you'll be able to connect Stripe however you want. So click on connect. You'll be able to connect it later if you want to. So I'm just going to click on connect. And as I said before, if you didn't finish like those access payment steps, you will have to do them here. So if you click on connect, as you can see, they will ask you to finish this step. So as you can see, you will have to enter or to do those steps here. So you will notice that's the same steps. So as you can see, so finish those steps before, or you can simply if it ends, you can do them here. Once you finish all those steps, you will find your Stripe uh, account is connected. Now, what you will need to do, of course, is simply go back to your Stripe and make sure to enable the sys mode. The sys mode will let you uh, make some fake transactions or test transactions to check if this integration is integrated correctly. If it does, you can make uh, or make it back to live and you will be good to go. You can simply now start using Stripe with your QuickBooks without any problem. So make sure to even stay up, uh, informed about any updates that could come in the future. So if you reach this point of this video, congratulations, you've successfully connected Stripe with QuickBooks, creating a seamless bridge between your payments processing and accounting activities. This integration streamline your financial processes, uh, reduce manual data entry, and enhance your overall business efficiency. By following these steps, you've uh, harnessed the power of two robust platforms to help you manage your finances with ease. So if you like this video, make sure to leave a like down below, subscribe for our channel for more helpful tutorials like this one, and I will see you in the next video.